In order to understand climate, we first have to understand the notion of energy balance. So imagine that we have an object, you know, usually we're talking about a planet, so we're talking about a spherical object, and it has sunlight coming to it, so it has energy, okay? And we might call this the, the um, you know, this is a solar energy in, so I'll call that energy in, okay? And what will happen is this object, which let's imagine starts off at, at um, at T equals zero Kelvin, so no temperature at all. And then it has energy coming in, so it'll warm up. Once it warms up and it has some temperature, what will happen then is it will start radiating energy. Okay, so once the temperature is, say, greater than zero Kelvin, then the object radiates energy. And we're going to call this, say, for example, energy out. Okay. Now, the change in the temperature will depend on how much energy is coming in and how much energy is going out. If energy in is greater than the energy out, so more is coming in, What that's going to do, that's going to make the temperature go up. All right? On the contrary, if, if energy in is less than the energy out, that will make the temperature go down. At some point, they'll be equal to each other. energy in equals energy out, and what will happen is that temperature will stay the same. Okay. If I were then to, for instance, uh, and, 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 and the thing about, about this, this situation is, is also that the temperature implies energy out. So what happens is as temperature goes up, the amount of energy that this object releases um, goes up as well. If we look at uh, the relationship between these things, we find that the, um, that, that the energy out goes approximately as the temperature to the fourth. So as temperature goes up, if it were to double, the energy out will go up by a factor of 16. So it's very sensitive, very sensitive to, um, to temperature. If then we were to, for instance, start at this equilibrium temperature and nudge it up a little bit, what will happen is energy out would go up, and then energy out would be greater than energy in, and the temperature would go down. So essentially, I, I, I push the temperature up, it goes back down. If I were to push the temperature down a little bit, then suddenly it, energy out would be less than energy in, and the, and the temperature would um, would would then have to go up again. So so this um, this balance that's achieved here is is a stable balance. Any any kind of change to it will um, um, will bring it back to its normal to its normal level. Our goal usually will be to determine this temperature, and so what we'll need to do is account for all the energy coming in, account for all the energy going out, and then figure out where the balance is, and then figure out the temperature. And I'll do that um, in another tutorial.